Nephritic syndrome is also known as acute nephritis. It is caused by damage to the glomeruli, resulting in leakage of red blood cells and protein into the urine. The presence of red blood cells in the urine gives it a smoky or Coca-Cola-like appearance. The onset of nephritic syndrome is acute with hematuria, oliguria, uremia, hypertension, mild to moderate proteinuria and slight edema. The most frequent cause of nephritic syndrome is post-infectious, usually following a streptococcal infection. Other causes include Hinochschirnlein purpura, hemolytic uremic syndrome, SLE, vasculitis, membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis and malignant hypertension. It is the beta hemolytic streptococcus Lansfield group A that causes acute diffuse proliferative post streptococcal glomerulonephritis. Prognosis is excellent particularly in children with spontaneous resolution occurring three to six weeks after onset of symptoms. Occasionally, however, rapidly progressive or crescentic glomerulonephritis may occur with renal failure following post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. In post-infectious glomerulonephritis, immune complexes lodge in the glomeruli. This results in inflammation of the glomeruli with proliferation of endothelial and mesangial cells. If damage to the glomerular capillaries causes blood to leak into Bowman's space, this can result in proliferation of the epithelial cells of Bowman's capsule, causing crescents to form. This is the typical appearance of a glomerulus in post-infectious glomerulonephritis. The glomerulus is hypercellular due to the proliferation of endothelial and mesangial cells. One of the techniques used to diagnose glomerulonephritis is immunofluorescence. In post-infectious glomerulonephritis, there is granular deposition of IgG and C3 in the glomerular basement membrane. This glomerulus is stained for C3, producing a rather pretty starry sky appearance. Another technique used in diagnosing glomerulonephritis is electron microscopy. The grey hump towards the bottom of the picture is an immune complex deposit in the subepithelial aspect of the basement membrane. 